Lancashire win against the odds at Southport to ease relegation fears. At the end of day two, Lancashire faced a difficult run chase to secure the win they desperately needed in their fight against relegation. Worcestershire's second innings total of 252 left the home side needing 314 for victory, a tall order considering they were all out for 161 first time around. They resumed on eight without loss, but they'd added only four runs to that score when night watchman Toby Lester, who'd opened the innings, was on his way back, brilliantly run out by Ed Barnard. And he was involved in the next wicket, forcing Hamid to edge to Cox, and it was 48 for two. When Jones fell in the same manner with no addition to the score, Worcestershire's thoughts surely turned to a prompt victory. And that looked even more likely when wicketkeeper Cox took another catch to remove Davis for 30, Pennington the successful bowler this time. Croft and Villas steered the home side through to lunch, but at 96 for four, they were still 218 runs short of their target. With just six wickets required, Worcestershire would have been more confident at the interval. The partnership between Croft and Villas was key to Lancashire's chances, and they extended it to 58 after lunch. Croft hit six boundaries in his 36, but when he edged tongue to first slip, the home side's hopes were fading fast. Not that Jordan Clark saw it that way. He settled into a useful stand with Villas and took Lancashire's victory target below 150. But when the pair had added 57, Clark was dismissed by Tuig, with Dolivera taking the catch. Villas completed his 50 soon after, and with Bahannon at the other end, he continued to chip away at the victory target. Villas's ninth boundary took Lancashire past 200, and when T arrived, he was still there on 72 not out, and the home side now needed just 96 more runs to win. Suddenly, this game was back in the balance. And the partnership continued to flourish in the evening session, Worcestershire powerless to separate them as the target grew closer. Both batsmen moved towards personal landmarks, but Bahannon got there first. His 50 included nine boundaries. And by the time he'd added three more to that tally, Lancashire were past 300 and needed just 14 more to win. Villas delivered four of them to reach a brilliant century, and then another four for good measure. And moments later, the job was done. A superb run chase by Lancashire to pull off a win that looked highly unlikely at 48 for three. Villas and Bahannon the heroes with an undefeated stand of 139. Four wickets the margin of victory, just Lancashire's second of the championship season. 19 points propels them up the table for now, but defeat is a huge blow for Worcester, who dropped to bottom spot.